A PHP script is made of series of statements where a statement can be an assignment, a function call, a loop, if-else conditionals, and so on. As you know, in PHP statements end with a semicolon and you're able to group multiple statements within curly braces. A control structure is something that allows you to group multiple statements and also allows you to control the flow of the code execution. You could, for example, execute A only if condition B passes or keep executing A until condition B is met. The first control structure that we're going to cover is the if conditional statements. The syntax is if some kind of condition and then curly braces and within the curly braces you put the blocks of code or statements that you want to execute only if the condition evaluates to true and this condition here basically can be any kind of expression it could be as simple as just a variable like this or it could be as complex as using multiple operators including the logical operators and so on so for example let's implement a simple uh, grading system so let's say score is 95 and then we can do if score is greater or equal to 90 echo a if we refresh we get a if we change this to 85 now it prints nothing so as you can see this statement executes only if this evaluates to true now for simple statements like this when you have one line you could actually remove the curly braces and it will still work so if we refresh nothing is printed if we change this back to 95 it will print a again i personally recommend to always use curly braces because it makes code more readable so what happens when the condition fails what you can do is if the condition fails you you could execute a default block of code and that is by using the else case here so you could do else and within the curly braces you put the block of code that you want to execute in the condition when this expression does not evaluate to true so here you could say echo f so if we refresh we're getting a but if we change to 85 we're getting f but that's pretty harsh right because if you have score 85 you would never get f this means that you actually need multiple conditions and you can do that by using else if so we could do else if score is greater than or equal to 80 echo b and then let's do the same for the c and d grades so as you can see you could chain as many else if conditionals as you need so in this case since it's 85 we're going to get b if we change this to 65 we're going to get d and if we change this to 75 we'll get c and finally if we set to something like 50 we'll get f now the other way of doing else if is by using space here and this will work exactly the same way there is a syntactic difference between the two but when you're using the alternative syntax which i'm going to talk Talk about in a minute within the HTML you need to use the one without the space I personally always use the one without the space you could also nest as many if else conditionals as you want so you can here you could say if score is greater than or equal to 95 echo plus so that way if you get something like 95 or 96 it will print out a plus so if we set this to 95 we'll get a plus if we set to 94 we get a and same goes for the other cases you could nest it within the else ifs and you could nest within the else as well so as you can see we are repeating a lot of the code here and don't worry about that right now we'll cover about the best practices and how to avoid code repetition in the later videos so if we change this to 76 we'll get c plus if we change it to 74 we'll get just c so let's embed this within the html and go over the alternative syntax but this kind of looks ugly right because we're embedding a lot of php within html also what if we wanted to print some kind of uh, styling or print some kind of uh, html element with our values we could of course uh, echo out the html directly like this but then that also does not look readable let me remove these additional if statements from here so that we have less code to work with we could do something like close the php tag here and then remove the echo from here and just print the html and then open the php tag here and this will work just fine as well but this also is not readable and we would have to do that same thing for the rest of the else if conditions and the else condition here as well luckily php offers alternative syntax and let me show you what that is so let's close this up here so we have the score 95 defined next we could open php tag here and the alternative syntax is that instead of curly braces you use a colon and then close the php tag and then we print our html then we open php tag again and for the else if we also use the colon at the end and remove the curly braces and let's do the same thing for the others and finally we need end if to close the original if statement. So we'll do it like that.
And now as you can see this looks a lot cleaner and if we refresh the page it works as expected. We could also use different HTML elements here. We could add some styling. We could say style color green and then we could add style color red here and set this to 55 and it works as expected. And note here is that when using LCF you cannot use the one with the space. It will give you a syntax error. You have to use the one without space. So this is it for this video. You now know if LCF and else conditionals and we're going to move on to the loop in the next video so thank you so much for watching please hit like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one